good afternoon dear elders brothers and sisters at the outset let me thank mr sudindra kulkani and karnataka gandhi smaraka nidhi for inviting me to share my thoughts at this important gathering on the theme mahatma gandhi for the 21st century i regret that i am unable to be present in person to share my thoughts with you this afternoon at the outset let me also mention that i am not a gandhian scholar my own understanding of the gandhian philosophy and practice is derived from my lifelong association with the sarvodaya shramadana movement which was founded by late dr at arya ratna who is my father i grew up in a home which was filled with books pamphlets photos recordings and printed posters with quotes from mahatma gandhi in 1969 when the gandhi centenary was celebrated and i was only 7 years old i vividly remember how it was celebrated with my father dr at ari ratna and with his band of volunteers organizing commemorations throughout sri lanka as we gather today to reflect on the enduring wisdom of mahatma gandhi and the relevance of his vision in shaping sustainable and equitable development we can draw heavily from his teachings and practice in an era marked by growing inequality and environmental challenges gandhi's ideas offer us a powerful framework for development one that prioritizes human dignity social justice and the harmonious coexistence of people and nature the sarvodaya shramadana movement of sri lanka with its profound commitment to these values provides us with a living example of how gandhian principles can be put into action which also meets the needs of a local context as demonstrated by our work in sri lanka gandhian concept of sarvodaya which gandhi defined as welfare of all speaks directly to the idea of inclusive and equitable development he believed that development should not be driven by the pursuit of material wealth alone but by the well being of every individual especially the most marginalized the sarvodaya shramadana movement in sri lanka inspired by this very principle has worked for decades to uplift the entire communities ensuring that benefits of progress are shared by all not just privileged few the founder dr at ari ratna defined sarvodaya as awakening of all sarva udaya at the heart of sarvodaya philosophy is the principle of shramadana sharing of labor this practice reflects gandhi's belief in the power of collective action and voluntary service as catalysts of change when people come together offering their time and efforts selflessly they build more than just physical infrastructure they build trust they build solidarity and a deep sense of belonging this approach has allowed sarvodaya to engage communities across sri lanka in initiatives that not only address their immediate needs but also empower them to become agents of their own development we call this we build the road the road builds us so it empowers communities in large numbers towards self development gandhi's vision for equitable development was rooted in the idea of swaraj or self governance where communities take control of their own resources and destinies sarvode embodies this principle by promoting local leadership participatory decision making and grassroots democracy the movement has helped communities establish self sustaining systems for early child education health nutrition livelihood development ensuring that development is not imposed from outside but grows organically from within in doing so 
Sarode has demonstrated that true sustainability lies in empowering people to be the drivers of their own progress. We have formed legal entities which are community based organizations called the Sarode Sramadana societies around the country. More than 5,000 of them out of a country which has 38,000 villages and they are becoming self-sustaining and forming a commonwealth of village republics as envisaged by Mahatma Gandhi. Another crucial aspect of Gandhi's thought was his insistence on ahimsa or non-violence as both a means and end to development. For Gandhi, sustainable and equitable development could never be achieved through exploitation or caution. Sarvodi movement has embraced this principle by fostering peace and reconciliation in communities divided by conflict. As you all know, Sri Lanka was affected by a very violent armed conflict for more than 26 years and Sarvode has been in the forefront of peace building and reconciliation in Sri Lanka. Through initiatives that promote interfaith dialogue, respect for diversity and communal harmony, Sarvode has shown that development must be grounded in respect for human dignity and the peaceful resolution of differences. Furthermore, Gandhi's approach to economic development was not one of unchecked industrialization but of balanced growth that respects the environment and prioritizes human needs. Sarvodaya's work in promoting sustainable agriculture, renewable energy and environmental conservation aligns closely with this vision. By focusing on small scale community driven solutions that protect natural resources while enhancing livelihoods, Sarvode exemplifies how development can be both equitable and ecologically sound. In a world where disparities continue to widen and ecological degradation threatens our future, the lessons from Gandhi and Sarvode are more relevant than ever. They remind us that development must be about more than just economic indicators. It must be about creating conditions where everyone can thrive, where resources are shared equitably and where growth does not come at the expense of our planet or our humanity. As we move forward, let us draw from these lessons to craft a development strategy that truly serves the common good. Let us work toward a future where progress is measured not by the wealth of a few but by well-being of all or what we call awakening of all where communities are empowered to chart their own path and where compassion, fairness and sustainability guide our every step. Relevance of Gandhian principles and practice would have been the topic for all times and seasons. In conclusion, the Sarvode Sramadana movement's journey serves as a beacon of hope, demonstrating that Gandhi's principles are not relics of the past, but vital tools for addressing the challenges of our time. By embracing these ideals, we can build a world that is not only prosperous but just, not only sustainable but equitable, one where welfare of every person is the true measure of our success. Thank you.